Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Fred Anderson here. I'm the coordinator of Awaken the Spirits Soup and Banner for the Soul, which is scheduled November 20th to the 22nd at Vancouver Island University, and it's at the First Nations building called The Gathering Place. And it's a three-day event that is focused on positive approaches to recovery and healing, and I guarantee you that it's going to be a lot of fun. And for many people, it'll be the most fun you've had so far this year. I, I'm sure of it because anybody who knows my presentations knows that it's high energy. They know that it's a lot of fun. They know that I get a little bit crazy once in a while, but that's what makes it fun. That I didn't want my recovery to be, you know, negative. I didn't, I always tell people, how many ever meet people that have been sober 20 years and they still look as miserable as they did the first day they sobered up? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sober 20 years. You know, they're, they're just negative. You know, I, I didn't want to live like that. I wanted to show that, yeah, it's possible to be happy. That, that's the way I was when I first cleaned up. Yeah, I was negative. I was so negative that if I were to walk into a dark room, I'd start to develop. <laughs> that's how negative I used to be. I was a, Nobody wanted to be around me, you know. I, and, and that's the way I've changed my life today. That when you start to become positive, people want to be around you. They want to meet you. When you walk by them, they go, hey, who is that? <laughs> or as native people do, they go, oh, who is that? <laughs> They're going to wonder who you are. You see, that your mind is so powerful. That's what I share with people, that you, that's the cool thing about being human being, unlike any other of the, the, the ones that fly, the ones that crawl, the four-legged, the one that swim. Human beings, we can change our direction of life starting right now if we wanted to. You don't ever have to be the same again, if you really wanted to. See, isn't that neat? That's the neat thing about being who we are. You don't, things don't have to be the way that they are. That whatever you're going through right at this moment, it's not going to be like that forever. You will change. There's nothing permanent in life but change. You're going to change. How many of you guys ever break up with somebody before? Boy, you remember how painful that was? <laughs> Boy, I'd wallow in our pain. Instead of getting over the pain right away, you play an old love song that only you two used to listen to. Love hurts. <laughs> you know, take the ribbons from your hair. Boy, they're just hurting their pain, right? <laughs> and then years later, after, boy, you even think about doing yourself in over that other person. You never want to live again. And you see the person 10 years later and you go, ah, <laughs> can't believe I went out with him. I can't believe I went out with her. You know why? You changed. You moved forward. Nothing permanent in your life but change, I guarantee. Let's make it fun. You know, I remember years ago I used to say, why don't we have a conference with no issues? And all the people in that circle were looking at me like I'm kind of gone. They're going, no issues? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, and, but I could see the possibility that one day we would have conferences and events for First Nations people with no problems, with no issues, just uplifting, just motivational. Let's do it. And that's what I'm doing. And it's, I said before, do not go where the path may lead. Go where there's no path and leave a trail. I'm going to leave a trail. And hopefully some people will follow and create and blaze their own trails too. Come up with some new ideas. One thing I learned about in leadership that I learned while growing up from my teachers like, like uh, Phil Lane or Lee Brown or Maggie Hodgson, Pearl Hunt, um, and, and of course my sponsor, and not to mention my mother, I can't go without saying anything about my mother, is that they taught me that if you have sight, the ability to see, you're blessed. But you know what? If you have insight, you are a thousand times more blessed. The ability to look within. When you can do that, my gosh, you're going to go places in your life when you can look within. It's easy to look outside. It's easy to say it's them and not me. See? But one thing I learned in personal development is that I need to look within. See? The future is called the promise. Your future is called the promise. Can you imagine if you're negative every day and... 
what kind of future, what kind of promise are you giving yourself? Because it is really your own gift to yourself. You see? And that's one thing I've learned. If you come to my home, on my refrigerator, it has, I can, I will, I am. And it says, good things are supposed to happen to me. And I see that every day. And you know what? It's becoming a way of life. And it's rubbing off on my kids. They see it too. See? Positive thinking, I know it won't guarantee success. Positive thinking won't guarantee that you'll always be happy. Positive thinking won't guarantee that you'll make it the first time round. But you know what? Negative thinking will guarantee that you won't succeed. Negative thinking will guarantee that you won't be happy. Negative thinking will guarantee that you won't move forward in your life. I guarantee you that. See? So give it a shot. Try it out. You can't become positive overnight. It's impossible. But you know what? You can start. And that's what it starts is from your first step. And that's what it's done for me, just like this drum has done for me in my life. Circle represent, represents no beginning and no end to learning. You'll never stop learning as long as you're here on this earth. And you want lessons are repeated until learned. So I, I, I try to learn at least the first time around. I don't try and suffer for too long, you know. Because human beings, for some reason, we like to suffer. <laughs> Instead of getting over the pain right away, boy, we wallow in our pain for the longest time, eh? You know, I remember this, uh, I was talking about this positive thinking because I got a message from a guy that was kind of negative with my Facebook and he's talking about, he called it positive thinking stuff. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to share this story. He says, his little boy, and hopefully you're watching this, little boy, he comes into his house, he kicks open the door and he goes, Dad, Dad, I failed my test. I failed at school. I know I did, Dad. And Dad goes, Son, that's negative. Think positive. And he goes, Yeah, okay, uh, I'm positive I failed then, Dad. I'm positive. <laughs> it has to do with the way that you see things, you see. And with that, I wrote something down on a piece of paper here that I talked about at the beginning of this segment. It's down in front of my feet here. I'm going to share with you how we are all like-minded and that you don't, you really don't suffer from an illness called terminal uniqueness. You don't suffer from it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna prove this how how you don't suffer from that because sometimes people think that they're different. <laughs> Some people say, "Well, it's just the way I am, and nobody's gonna change me." When you say that, you know what? Your growing spirit stops growing. That's why. How many of you ever meet people that are 50 years old still trying to be 20? They're 60 years old trying to be 18. Their growing spirit stopped somewhere. See, how many ever meet people that are 25, but their spirit is far beyond their years? See, that proves to me something, that your, your spirit has that ability, and you impact everybody around you. When you're negative, it shows in your body, the way you present yourself, the way you carry yourself. It shows in your home, the way you look after your home. It shows the way you carry yourself with your clothing, Everything about you is a, is a spiritual mirror to who you are, who you really are. See, so I wanted to share, share that with you today is that before I go, motivation is simple. Eliminate those who aren't motivated. <laughs> and it says to, to surround yourself with better people, with people that are going to help you grow, people that are going to help you get inspired, people that are going to believe in you. Remember I said that a, a true friend is somebody who knows absolutely everything about you and still loves you anyway. So in closing, this is what I want to share with you. I'm going to give you some little equations. They're not difficult. But I want you need to answer out loud from wherever you are because if you don't, it won't work. Okay? So when I ask you a question, answer out loud quickly. Okay? Just like when I say, what's 5 plus 1? You go, 6. Say it out loud. Don't say it in your mind, okay? Here we go. What's 5 plus 1? What's 4 plus 2? What's 10 minus 4? What's 2 plus 4? What's 7 minus 1? What's the first vegetable that comes to your mind? Quick, quick. Vegetable. Say, say it out loud. Vegetable. Say it. Okay, you got it? Got it? Okay. Carrot. We are all positive. We are all like-minded. You were born with it. 
we were taught to lose. We were taught to give up. We were taught to be negative. You weren't born that way. You, when you came out of your mother's womb, you were a true human being. When we get older, we become human doings. So I hope you come to this event November 20th to the 22nd. Let people know. Hoyampton's going to be there. He's going to be offering an evening on Thursday night. Uh, a healing and a cleansing sweat will be offered to people coming out. It's option. You don't. It's not mandatory. But if you want to, you have to sign up for it. So thank you, Freddie, for offering that. And that was a nice visit the other day. In closing, I challenge you to thank the people that have helped you through maybe some difficult times in your life. Maybe there's a teacher that helped you through your life. Maybe there's your mother, maybe an uncle or an auntie, somebody that has helped you through something. I want you to pick up the phone, pay it forward, phone them and say, thank you. I appreciate what you've done for me. And you know what? This is what will probably happen. They'll say, I needed to hear that. Thank you. So in closing, thank you, Phil Lane. Thank you, Lee Brown. Thank you, Maggie Hodgson. Thank you, Pearl Hunt. Thank you, Bruce, who's my sponsor, and especially my mother. You know what, Mom? Your prayers worked. And today I'm living a good life. So all those days you prayed for me every day at 7.30 in the morning, Positive thinking really does work, and prayers work. And your words are prayers. Thank you, Mom. I love you. Have a good day.